if you're, if you're a prophet, let me pray for you. Let's stop there. If you're a prophet, come and stand here. Before I continue, let me, let me pray for you. If you're a prophet. All of you stand here. All prophets stand here. If you're a prophet. Only when, if you're a prophet. Because I, w- I wanted to continue there. And I just said, can you call? Oh, there are some prophets that God wants to give them a great assignment here, especially this year. This year, it's like the, you have to raise people. I don't know. What God wanted to do for many years, he wants to do it now. If you're a prophet, come stay. And uh, where is your husband? He doesn't want great. He want to lose anointing. Andres, you want to lose anointing? If you are a prophet, stand here. God said, I must pray for you. When I wanted to carry on praying, God said, pray for this prophet. Because among them, not all of you, among them, there are people that, people have to know you this year. God wants to make you a voice of these nations. God wants to make you a voice of these nations. You speak things and things will happen. Some of you, whatever you go through or you went through, you will never see it again. I'm not saying all of you. I say some of you. Because when you're a prophet, you must meet, you must, they must put you in a hole. They put you in a hole. Like there's no light where you're going. Whereas out of that, you are in the throne. You are on the throne. So God wants to raise you, He wants to advertise you. Even when you are quiet, people will know you're a prophet. So God wants to send you to a place where He will even honor you in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you because of your assignment. This assignment that is coming to you, go raise people that will come to you to stand with you so that you fulfill it. Go raise people financially to stand with you so that you fulfill this assignment. I was praying, I heard that the devil want to make people not to believe in prophets by whatever that is happening. But I heard say you will raise prophets. This is the time now of you people. He will raise you. People will know your call in Jesus' name. Amen. And whatever you say, it will happen. You're a prophet because when you release a word, it will come to pass. You're not a prophet because you saw a vision. Because everybody can see visions. Even a Sangoma can see spirits. Even a spirit of media. You you see things that come to pass in Jesus' name. You're a prophet because God has appointed you. You're appointed. This is the assignment that God is giving you. No one will be able to stop you. No one will be able to stand in front of you. In the name of Jesus. You're a prophet. You'll be always in his presence. Katalayadi. You'll be always in his presence. So from now on, go reveal things that you'll even ask yourself. You'll ask yourself if it's you. May God honor you this year. These two months that is coming to you, in front of you, will be months of breakthrough. And with these two months, God will gather everything you need so that you go to Egypt. It will be the time where Jesus is born and now the wise men come 
and begin to honor so that they will go to Egypt, so that they will stay wherever they can stay. It will happen to you. Amen. God wants to give you something that, I mean, no debts, no debts. These are the people that God is raising, coming to you to honor you. Let it happen now. Let it happen now. In the name of Jesus. This is the time you've been waiting for. This is the time you people you have been waiting, you fasted for. You are seeing visions, you are seeing this, but you can't see breakthrough in your life. This is the time that God will bring breakthrough now. A breakthrough that you will rest. And whoever comes to you will be sended by God. When you bless that person, you'll be blessed by the same person. I see God raising people. I see God raising you. So the moment when I touch you, let me start with my own. Come and please, uh, with your wife. Where's your wife here? Come and stand here. Come here. Yeah. You face me. Let me anoint you. It's happening now. It's happening now. It's happening now. Bring him to me. Can you just come here? Come here. Come now. Jesus. Can you just come here, Mama? Come. Come on, come on. Can you just come here? You come. Jesus, come on. Take it. Can you just come here? Come, you brother. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Come, Colombia, come here. Come on. Take it. Can you just come here? Come here. Manuel, come here. Come on. Come on. Can you just come here, Mama? Come. Hey, you can, you can. Come on. can you just come here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can you just come here? Take it. Take it. Take it. Can you just come here? Hey. Take it. Come on. Take it. Come on. You're anointed. You people, you're anointed. God bless you. This is, this is the grace that you people, people will question you. I say people will question you. When I wanted to pray for people here, go say, stop and call these prophets. You pray for them because I want to honor them. As you have come forward here and stand here, it's not me who honor, it's God who honors you. And he will do it in Jesus' name. What I'm hearing is, listen, what I'm hearing is, you're in a place where you don't know whether you can move forward or backward. And uh, now what God wants to do is, he wants to raise people. Like when David was in Adullam. Like when David is where, was in Adullam. And the people of Dystress came and God changed their situation and they become warriors around him. So this is the time that go raise people who will stand with you so that you fulfill the assignment of the living God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay.